Hi everybody, Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you not really a new project. Um, this is a slightly added on bit compared to an original that was made by Pootles, Pootles Papercraft, which is Sam Hammond. Um, she made these wonderful boxes to keep your thinlets and framelets in. Um, and obviously I, I made them as I'm guessing quite a lot of us did. And it was only recently when I realised that um, some of you may have noticed that I keep all my um, enamel shapes in the cases, these clear cases, but then I realised that Stampin' Up! have retired them and they're not going to be available in the new catalogue. Um, and so I thought, right, I need to have something that's a bit more usable um, and user friendly, I guess. And so um, I tried numerous things and in the end all I could come up with was creating something similar to what Sam had made with her thinlets and framelets. Um, so the basics of that is quite similar. Um, I've just added a couple of dividers inside. Um, and as you can see, it sits quite pretty on my desk with three compartments. So I shall have the, ne the next one that I'm going to make is going to have my uh, perfect white accents, my new faceted gems and although these are all cut up because I don't have new ones yet they are going to have my rhinestones as well. Um, you may be thinking well what about the enamel shapes? There, there's nowhere for them because these are pearls, metallic shapes and the new glitter enamel dots. Well I did think about that and I just made a simple box that contains them. Brights, regals, Sorry, these are my subtles, brights and regals and I just made a very simple box, added the two dividers and there they sit, quite happy. Um, if you wanted to, you could have another label at the front that says subtle so that you know which one's which, but I know just from looking at the top that those are my subtles, brights and regals. I'm not going to show you how to make this because it is very simple, it's just a box with two dividers but the instructions for this one will be on my blog um, so you can have a look at that one and you'll also notice that I'm using some of the new, this is the uh, powder pink, beautiful new in colour and obviously this is the DSP and this one was made with Fresh Fig with also the coordinating DSP. So I'm going to make this one today in Berry Burst. Um, the DSP for this one is 10 and a half by 10 and three quarters, so you will need a 12 by 12 sheet. Um, so once you've got that cut, grab your scoring board and your scoring tool. And with your 11 and three quarters across the top, you need to score at three, seven and three quarters, and then we rotate so that we have our ten and a half inches across the top, and we score at five and a half and eight and a half. Move that out of the way. As with all our jobs, we are going to fold and burnish our score lines. And obviously that's our, our basic shape. So now we just grab our scissors and we simply cut down these two lines here. And the same the other side, just cut down the sides. Now before I do any more, because this simply just folds up, I'm going to stick my panel on the front here. And obviously I'm using the, again, coordinating berry burst. Just add some adhesive onto that and I'm using Fuse simply because this will be used quite a bit and I want it to be quite sturdy and take a little bit of bashing. So I'm just going to pop that on there and the panel here is one and three quarter inches by four and a half. Okay and so when you come to folding the sides up I found the neatest way is to bring those two in first then we fold 
Oops. Then we fold the front ones in and then these ones up. So you need to add adhesive on the inside of these ones here. So I'm going to use my fuse again for this. And you will also need on the inside of this one. So I'm just going to pop some there. And some on there. And as I said, so I'm just going to bring this up. Sorry, I did this a different way actually than I just said. So I'm going to fold that up. Make sure that your... Um, tab is straight and straight in that corner as you adhere it. I'll try and do this at an angle so you sort of push that into the, the edge that way you'll know that it's straight and again you just fold this one up make sure that your edges are level and fold it and adhere it. Okay so the next thing then you need to do is to cut your line. Now if you're brave enough you can do it by eye. If you're not, and you're like me and usually a bit wobbly, just get a pencil and a ruler and just draw a faint line from that corner to the top corner. And then you simply grab your scissors and follow the line. Just being aware that when you get down here, you've got double thickness, so it will feel a bit strange as you cut it. But like I said, it's just because you've got that other panel, if you like, inside. There we go, just neaten that off there. And there's your basic box. Um, to add the dividers, I've got, if you notice on this one, I've got two different levels because of these being slightly bigger. And so I've got two pieces of cardstock and then two DSP panels. So my cardstock is three inches by six and three quarters and two inches by six and three quarters. And then all you need to do is to grab your cardstock panels and I'm using my trimmer just because it's easier and just score one inch at each end. And you do that on both of them. And just this last one. And then obviously we then stick our panels on. Again, you can use whichever pattern or paper you like, whichever sides, or you could leave them plain. Whichever you want, but I just think these are a great. And to be fair, they'd be ideal as a desk tidy for anyone as well. You wouldn't necessarily have to have it for our enamel shapes, but uh, a normal desk tidy would be good. So just stick that one on there and then simply fold and burnish these uh, tabs on the end. I've not trimmed wedges off them just because I don't feel a need to. So with the largest one, let's add some fuse again to the two tabs there. And when I pop them in, this one side I fold in and just catch the end of the glue with my finger because otherwise it's going to stick in place in the wrong place. And then I simply pop it in and push it again into the corner. I'm hoping you can see that. And then just give it a little touch because you don't need much just to get it adhering. And then once you've got them both where you want them, you just stick it in place. And the same with the second one, just a small bit of fuse on the tabs. Oops, and then the same with this one, hold that one in and then I simply place this in and I butt this one up to the one in front. So again it's just got that edge there just in line with that front one, I'm hoping you can see that. And that's it, a really pretty decorated desk tidy based on the original box by Pootles, Pootles Papercraft. Thank you, Sam. Um, hopefully I did you proud. Um, and you just pop your embellishments in. So my faceted 
my enamels, sorry, my white dots and my a million rhinestones. And there we have it, super cute. They're gonna look really good in my craft room. Color coordinated, so again, you can use any color you want. Um, and just perfect, and like I said, even a little box just for the shapes. As I said, all the details um, for what I've used are on my blog, the link of which is below. All the items I've used are available to be, available to be purchased, and that is also um, in the link below on the shopping bit. Um, as I say, all of these, including all of the items that are inside, can be purchased. Um, and I'd be really, really grateful if you purchased your items through me as well. Um, as you know, I always send a little thank you something out to people when they shop with me every month. Um, I hope you like these guys. I hope you make a use for them. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.